Buongiorno amici. Welcome friends to my kitchen on the cliff. Today I'm making a feast for New Year, which will include lentils for good luck and prosperity, cotechino, which is a delicious sweet sausage, and with the broth that is made from cooking the lentils, we're going to make a wonderful soup. All of that could be done in one day, or you can make the soup on another day. But either way, you don't waste anything. You've cooked broccoli, and you've cooked the lentils. What remains of that broth becomes a soup you know, either the same day or the next day. This feast, with all its recipes, is in my Sicilian Feasts book, which is available through Amazon. So the first thing we're going to do is to pick over the lentils to make sure that there are no stones or dried up pieces. Next, I'll give the lentils a quick rinse and add them to the pot. And now I'm adding six cups of water to the pot. This is going to come to the boil, so it could be pretty high. And then you lower it and you simmer it for 10 minutes. You don't want to overcook the lentils. People cook them for a half an hour, an hour, but no, it's not necessary. As soon as it comes to a full boil, lower the heat so that it is still boiling, but not so violently. Now cover it and time it for 10 minutes. While the lentils are simmering, I'm going to start the cavatelli. So we need a cup and a half of flour. Right, we're going to add the eggs. A teaspoon of olive oil. Okay, we're going to beat the eggs right in the center of the flour and then start incorporating flour with the eggs. I don't add water unless I absolutely have to, so you just need it. Try to get all those crumbs uh, incorporated. Because, you know, when you add the water, uh, you can't take it away. And sometimes I won't even add water. I'll just wet my hands and that's enough. Knead it until you have a nice, smooth dough. Okay, so we're going to put a drop of olive oil on top. And we're going to cover it and let it rest 10 minutes. Meanwhile, the lentils have simmered for 10 minutes and I'm turning off the gas. I'm now going to put the cover back. Now, at this point, once you've cooked them for 10 minutes, you let them cool in their own broth. And then in about two or three hours, you can use them. You can eat them, they're cooked. The dough has rested. We're going to cut the cavatelli dough in half, sprinkle a little flour. And now I'm rolling it out. Okay, and now I'm going to cut it. Cavatelli is a handmade pasta. You cut the dough into these little bits and then we shape them on a special board. That is called a cavatelli board. And you know, it yields a lot. This was just two eggs, and uh, this is enough for at least six people. I use my left hand as a guide to make them all more or less the same size, as I did with the struffoli. This is the cavatelli board. And we're going to put a piece of dough on here with two fingers, press down and pull towards you. Okay, you take a piece of dough with two fingers, you press down and you pull towards you. Press down and pull towards you. And what you're doing is you're thinning the dough and you're creating little nooks and crannies to catch the sauce. Well, if you don't happen to have one of these, you take a fork. That's how our grandmothers used to do it. For that matter, you can use anything that has a texture. You can take a basket and do these in a basket and you get you know, a different uh, design. Okay, here's a fork. You hold it in your left hand, press down 
and roll it towards you. Okay, so it's different. The ridges are bigger. This may seem daunting, but you know, it's so fast and it's fun. It's fun to do, it's relaxing. It's therapeutic. We're always looking for therapeutic things. Here it is, and then you can eat it. So get everybody in, in the action. Get all the children. You know, they'll, they'll mess it up to begin with. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be edible anyway. And just think of how proud they would be to make pasta with their mother, grandmother, aunt, uncle. The proof of the pudding is that they are absolutely delicious. So these can be put into a soup. They can be made uh, asciutto, which means dried, you know, strained. And then you can put any sauce you like, a broth, a sauce, olive oil and cheese, butter and cheese. It's pasta, you, you can do anything you want with it. This is our cotechino. It is about a pound and a half, and so we're going to cook it for one hour. Cotechino is a sweet sausage, there's no, no spice in it. So what we wanna do is prick it so it doesn't explode. We're going to put it in this pot so I'm going to cover this with water. This has to cook 40 minutes per pound. So this is a pound and a half, we'll cook it for one hour. So we'll turn the gas on. We'll turn it on high, leave it uncovered until it boils. Once it boils, as we do with all simmering, we lower it to the lowest possible point and we let it simmer. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare the broccoli. These are gorgeous, fresh, so it comes with a stem. What do we do with the stems? What we do with the stems is we peel them and it's a treat for whoever is cooking. I don't know if all of you know that the stem is as edible as the rest of the plant, except that it has a tough exterior. So we're going to peel it. You really can't use a potato peeler for this. You have to use a pretty good knife because it's quite tough. But once you peel it, it is the most delicious thing. It's a real, my favorite crudité. If you don't feel like eating this, you peel it and you cut it up and you put it in the soup. But if you're like me, you just eat it every time you make broccoli. It never lands in the soup because it's so delicious. I'll share it with Francesca. If you've never had broccoli stems, make a, a New Year resolution. So now let's deal with these. We want these to remain quite large, so I'm going to cut each one of these in four. So I go through the stem, cut through that, and then separate it. And then I'm going to do it again. These are going to be served with the lentils. So we don't want them to be small, we want them to be quite large so they can be easily picked up. Washing the broccoli. Drain them and they're ready to cook. The cotechino is boiling, I'm skimming it. I've lowered it to a simmer and now we time it. This is going to cook for one hour. Right, the cotechino is going to simmer for one hour. The pasta is made and the broccoli are washed and rinsed. So let me show you what happened to the lentils. Now the lentils, if you remember, cooked for 10 minutes, and look, there's still liquid in there, but they've absorbed a lot of the liquid. So if you cook the lentils 10 minutes and you let them cool in their broth, they're going to be cooked by the end. So this can be done the day before easily, and then the next day you continue. So the way we continue now is, we're going to take half of these lentils. These are going to be served with the broccoli and we're going to put them aside. To that, we're going to add eight cups of water. Now this, we're going to salt. We're gonna put a tablespoonful of salt, put the heat on high so it comes to a boil quickly. Here we go. We are going to cook the broccoli in this broth. That will enrich the broth and later we'll make the soup out of it. But meanwhile, we're going to put all the broccoli in. Stem down, you know, if possible, because the stems need the cooking, not the florets. 
You know how Nanu started eating broccoli? He had never had broccoli. He never had anything other than potatoes. When I made him broccoli and ricotta soup, you just boil the broccoli and you put ricotta in there and you put pasta. And you found it so delicious. Right after it comes to the boil, if you like broccoli very crunchy, you cook it five minutes. If you like them more cooked, you, you do it for eight minutes. Okay, I'm taking the broccoli out. Still crunchy, just the way we like them. You notice they're not coming apart. I took most of the broccoli out, left a little bit. This will be the soup. Since the water is still boiling, from the broccoli, we're going to add the cavatelli. And these will also cook for five minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, counting down. <laughs> They've all come to the surface and we're going to cook them another three minutes or so. The cotechino is done. All right, the broccoli are cooling. We'll let the broccoli cool so we can do the presentation of this dish. Before we serve this, we need to add the finishing touch of olive oil, plenty of it. We'll add some salt. Now it's time for the beautiful arrangement of this dish. This is uh, eaten at room temperature, by the way, so it doesn't have to be reheated. You simply eat it at room temperature. I like to surround the lentils with the broccoli. I'll add some lemon slices for people who want some lemon on it. We need to add the finishing touch of olive oil. I'll slice part of the cotechino. It looks nice that way. This is the New Year feast. We have lentils for good luck and for prosperity. We have cotechino from Italy, delicious. We have our pasta lenticchie. We have our cavatelli with uh, lentils. And of course, we have struffoli for dessert. The instructional video of struffoli is also in the book. There will be a link to the video in the description box. Uh, the cotechino, if you're not familiar with it, is not a spicy sausage. It's relatively mild. I'm just actually on the sweet side. And delicious. I have a, 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 a cotechino uh, memory. One new year, I just couldn't find the cotechino. I went to all the stores that might have it, couldn't find the cotechino. So I finally went to De Palma, which was a, a neighborhood, family-run Italian uh, store. And there was one cotechino. So the owner of the store, this wonderful lady, she looked at me and she said, well, what are we going to do? Let's just share it. You take half and I take half. And then I bought some sausage to augment our feast. So we had cotechino and sausage, but she said, it's very important. We have to have it because it's symbolic. We have to have a piece of cotechino. So we shared it and we each had a taste of the cotechino. Remember that? Yeah. I do. <laughs> if you're not already a subscriber, please remember to subscribe. Buon anno. <laughs> Buone feste. Buon anno a tutti. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. <laughs>